What if I told you there were shops on Etsy right now selling laser cut products for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars? Well, today we're gonna to take a look at three shops on Etsy that are doing just that. Instead of playing the high volume, low price game, they're playing the high price, low volume game, which in my opinion is a great way to run a laser business. The first batch of products we're gonna take a look at is from a shop called Philip Roberts Art. Opening the page, you immediately get smacked right in the face with these absolutely stunning art pieces that he has for sale. This style of product is called layered wood art. In the laser project world, you'll most commonly see these done as mandalas. However, there are many other types of designs you can make. Let's sort these listings by price to see what he's selling these for. The most expensive piece is going for a price of $12,000. However, that one does look like a bit of an outlier. The next most expensive items for sale are in the three to $5,000 range. Those are still big price tags and targeting a much different Etsy shopper than someone just looking for a quick laser engraved notebook. Let's open up one of these listings to check it out in detail. This specific piece is listed for $4,299. The product description says it's made from 12 layers of stacked plywood. Given that the finished depth is listed at an inch and a half, I'm assuming each layer is cut from three millimeter plywood unless the back layer is thicker or something like that. Zooming in, you can see just how much depth the 12 separate layers give the design, especially with some of the layers being stained different colors. Let's take a quick look at another listing. A slightly cheaper option, this piece is currently priced at $545. Zooming in on the edge, you can distinctly see the 12 layers that make up the final product. Making your layered wood art with these distinct square edge borders like this makes it a lot easier to line up the cut layers during the gluing phase. There are multiple five-star reviews, even on some of the larger pieces that cost $1,000. It just goes to show there is a customer base at every price point as long as you are making a quality product that people wanna buy. So what if you're interested in learning how to make your own layered wood products? Well, first, you're gonna to have to really hone your digital design skills. Because unless there's some kind of AI layered art generator out there that I don't know about, you will be spending a lot of time at the computer. Each one of those 12 layers has its own specific design that has to also mesh with the layers above and below it to create a cohesive design. As far as what kind of laser you would need, well, the good news is that three millimeter thick plywood is pretty easy to cut even for an entry level machine. So no issues there. However, the bad news is if you're looking to make a 32 inch by 24 inch wall piece, you're going to need a working bed size that only comes with more expensive CO2 lasers. For example, this 130 watt CO2 from OM Tech has a working area of 35 inches by 55 inches and runs for about $7,500 but you could always start with much smaller sizes and work your way up as you get better and make more sales. The next shop we're gonna take a look at is called Dramota and they're making really awesome laser cut doll houses. This kind of product is so well suited for laser cutting, it blows my mind I never even considered making something like this. This shop has an array of products, but I wanna focus on the doll houses specifically. Let's sort the listings by highest price to see what they're selling these for. The most expensive dollhouse is currently priced at $2,875. Similar to the previous layered wall art products we're looking at, these dollhouses are only made from thin plywood with the addition of paint and paper. Maybe a couple pieces of ready-made hardware for the door hinges as well. Let's take a look at some of the details. Looking at these photos, you can see the overall structure and design of the house is pretty simple. Lots of straight square and rectangle cuts with repeating details on the balconies and the roofs. Looks like they're using box tabs to connect the floors to the walls and hold everything together. What really makes these shine in my opinion is the attention to detail with the painting and the wallpaper. It takes the dollhouses from just a quick laser project to a full blown product that can sell for over $1,000 on Etsy. Here's a quick comparison showing a cheaper unfinished house versus one with all the added details. I know immediately which one my daughter would rather play with. Another smart thing this shop is doing is offering the dollhouses as a DIY kit in addition to the completed product. That's great for any customers that might wanna customize their dollhouses before putting them together. I'm sure it also saves a lot of money on shipping as well, since all the parts will be flat and unassembled. If I were this shop, I would go a step further and sell the digital patterns to create some of these dollhouses for potential customers that already have lasers like us. Passive digital income is a wonderful thing. 
You can check out a video I made recently describing how I make passive digital income selling digital files by clicking right up here. So what would you need to learn how to make model houses like this? Well, unless you already have an idea on how to design these structures, I would probably start by finding a free or paid digital template and constructing that first. I'd imagine having a completed model in front of you that you could touch and analyze would really jumpstart the design process. Even if it's not the same style of house you inevitably want to make, it doesn't have to be dollhouses. You could apply this to log cabins, castles, skyscrapers, the list goes on. Honestly, I think I would have the most trouble creating those little dollhouse furniture pieces that are on the inside. As far as laser specs, you don't need anything crazy. A mid-range CO2 would be more than capable of cutting all of these pieces relatively quickly. Just have to make sure that the working area of the laser is large enough to process the largest pieces in your models. For example, this dollhouse has a height of 50 inches. If you were looking to cut something that large, you will need a laser bed large enough to hold it. The last shop we're gonna take a look at today might just be one of my favorites on Etsy. And that shop is Dan Schaub Designs. Similar to the first shop we looked at, the products are in the layered wood art category. However, this maker targets a very specific niche that I wanna show you guys. If we go over to the navigation and click on masks, you'll see a collection of these beautiful deity and headdress masks. They aren't the most expensive items for sale in this shop. However, they are the most niche targeted. Let's check out some of these listings. You can see that they're essentially just layered wood art that's designed to be worn instead of just hanging on your wall or setting on a shelf somewhere. It looks like they're laser cut from thin plywood with the addition of acrylic, paint, and whatever is being used to secure the mask to the customer's face. The combination of the paint choices and the colored acrylic for the eye lenses really make these mask designs stand out and look expensive. Taking a look at the reviews, you can see multiple five-star reviews for these masks with glowing customer appreciation. Again, showing that products that are priced much higher than you're used to seeing on Etsy will sell. Now, if you're interested in making something like this, how would you start? Well, it would actually be very similar to the advice given earlier when we were just talking about the standard layered wood art. The overall concept of designing and laser cutting layers is the same. However, you would have to take into account some of the anatomical features of a mask that are meant to be worn. I'm sure that's gonna require a lot more trial and error for fitting instead of just making a abstract design that hangs on a wall. As far as specific lasers go, you don't necessarily need a larger bed size, but I would strongly suggest only trying these on a CO2 laser if you're gonna be adding acrylic. As I mentioned in this video right here, CO2 lasers are the optimal wavelength to cut all types of acrylic and would give you the best results. So a desktop CO2 laser or a mid-range CO2 laser would be more than capable. You could do these on a dial laser if you're skipping the acrylic parts. I mentioned the idea of targeting a specific niche a few times and want to expand on that for a second before finishing up. Because this shop is a perfect example. I personally have no idea who the customer base is for a product like a deity mask probably because I'm a 40 year old dad who lives in the suburbs now. But that's completely irrelevant because obviously that customer exists and this shop has tapped into that culture. If you are a part of any kind of community or subculture, that's a great place to start when brainstorming product ideas. There's a much higher likelihood you will have less competition and have an easier route to gaining a foothold with your brand. Serving a specific niche is how I started my own laser business. All right, that is the end of today's video. I hope these three shops gave you some good inspiration for coming up with your own awesome product ideas. If you took any value from this video whatsoever, I would greatly, greatly appreciate if you could just tap the like button. It helps me out greatly with the YouTube algorithm. And please subscribe if you're interested in laser slash business content like this. Also, there is a link in the description below to sign up for my email list where I will occasionally send you content updates and other cool laser stuff I find around the web. Thanks for watching.